hi, hello. I'm Stephanie with Board Game Geek here at Origins 2017. Joining me is Patrick Haver with Quick Simple Fun Games. Uh, show us this quick, simple, and fun game uh, mess machine that we have here. Okay, basically this game is all about doing puzzles kind of in a slide type way. Now, I like it. <laughs> there are four basic actions you can take okay. where you can move stuff along the columns and the rows. Move these? Yes. Mm -hmm. Normally, it'd obviously be mixed up. Right. This, not not a complete robot here. Yeah. And at the bottom right, you can see a little dot on every piece, okay. so that's how you know how to align it. Yep. On the back of the rule book, it shows you what the picture should look like. So you know what you're trying to get and what each piece individually looks like. Yep. But as you can see, because there's only four choices you can do to move, we couldn't make it too easy for you, otherwise there wouldn't really be a game to it. Mm -hmm. Now, cooperatively, you can play where you're just all working together to try to get the puzzle done. Yeah. And you can do that when you run out of a certain number of tokens, the game is over. Okay. There's also a competitive mode, which I do not recommend you try at first. Because what it is, is everybody's going to take one of these choices for the four movements. Yeah. You'll pick one that you think you're going to do, and one that you think everybody else is going to do. You put that little token on it, and that's what your bet is for the game. Okay. So you're trying to force people to do the one that you want while taking the one that you want. Yeah. And obviously that causes it to be a little bit harder because people are trying to score points. Right, right. You can still win even if the puzzle isn't completed. Mm -hmm. You only score what other people have given you. Right, right. Now it comes with four different puzzles. Yeah, I see these are the different puzzles right here. <clears throat> and the artwork on it is pretty nice. Yeah. Um, it usually plays in about 20 to 30 minutes, and if you like puzzles and slide puzzles, this is definitely a game for you. Yeah, that's really cool. There's not, not a lot of that uh, puzzly jigsaw stuff, which I love. I love like jigsaw puzzles and, and stuff like that, so not a lot of that in board gaming. So that's really neat that you were able to make a game out of that, cooperative and competitive. <laughs> um, yeah. Is this available right now for us to purchase? It is available right now. It's $29.99. Mm -hmm. And you, can, you can just go right there, right behind us. <laughs> <clears throat> but basically, you know, you can come and demo it if you'd like, if you're here at the show. Yeah. Um, it literally takes 20 to 30 minutes to play the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I just explained the entire game to you in three minutes. Right, yeah, and two to four players. So, great family game, great, um, what are we going to play? I don't know, let's do this and sit down and figure it out, you know kind of game to play, which is what Quick Simple Fun aims to do. So, yeah, anything else you want to say about Mess Machine? Um, basically, other than the innovative part, I definitely recommend playing the cooperative mode first. People get very frustrated when they don't. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Who wants to keep it quick, simple, and fun for you? <laughs> All right, that is Mess Machine by Quick Simple Fun Games. Thanks, Patrick.